Uh, I'm here in the Parnell Rose Garden to test the, those two bad boys out, the Huawei P40 Pro Plus against the Huawei P30. One generation apart, how do they compare in terms of photo quality and maybe also video quality? Let's take a look. So this is the video test with the front-facing camera of the uh, Huawei P40 Pro Plus and as you can see it is quite good. It has autofocus which the P30 lacks of and I'm walking around here and as you can see it's pretty stabilized so no issues there. I'm having this attached to my microphone as you can see it can record via external a microphone and the sound quality is pretty uh, good and of course it has a pretty good stabilization and uh, autofocus on the front facing camera. Let's switch to the P30 to compare. And now this is the Huawei P30 and uh, this is one of the last Huawei devices, so flagship devices that uh, ships with a 3.5 mm headphone jack. So you can hear the audio now directly from the 3.5 mm headphone jack, so no USB-C uh, dongle attached. How's the stabilization? Same walking uh, time here. Uh, I think the um, uh, the HDR effect on both phones is pretty uh, nice and in terms of uh, quality for vlogging I think even the P30 can still be a very good vlogging camera even in this dim lit situation because the sun is fading away and the day is like ending here it's like uh, almost eight o'clock here in New Zealand uh, Auckland and uh, yeah this is the Parnell Rose Garden that you can see behind me uh, very nice very close to the ocean even uh, another is it the ocean actually or the sea in front of the ocean are uh, very close to water <laughs> anyway so hopefully there will be no not too much uh, mosquitoes around here so this is the front facing camera of the P30 it doesn't have autofocus as I told you before so um, if I hold my hand here you can see it's not focusing as a fi fixed focus but it's still okay and most of the time you get your video shot uh, right Let's take a look at uh, photos. Here you can see that you have the flatter image on the P30 and a more contrasty image and a more punchy image with the P40 Pro Plus. When we take a look at the ultra wide angle you can see that there's a color difference. The P30 has a wider angle. It has a more punchy color, so the opposite. But when it comes to details you can see that the P30 just has no chance against the P40 Pro Plus CineLens. When we take a look at close-ups you can see the P40 Pro Plus with its bigger sensor can create bigger natural bokeh and the p30 doesn't have so much bokeh here and also the colors are a bit more reddish and yeah more artificial on the p30 in ultra close-ups the p30 should have the advantage of a super macro camera but you can see it is not as sharp as a cropped in p40 pro main camera sensor lens when it comes to dynamic range you can see that they're pretty much on par but you can see it's a bit of darker exposure on the p30 and you can see this also here it's almost the same. There's not much of a difference. There's a slight color shift. And of course, if you just zoom in a bit, you can see that the P40 Pro Plus with its main sensor just has more resolution. And you can see the color shift here as well. It is a bit more warm on the left, the P40 Pro Plus and the P30 exposes a bit cooler. Here you can see the difference between 10 times optical zoom on the left P40 Pro Plus and the P30 only five times hybrid zoom on the right you can clearly see you can read it on the p40 pro plus and here especially when you're photographing the moon uh, 60 times on the p40 pro plus and 30 times on the p30 you can see a big difference also in noise reduction in nighttime shots the p30 produces uh, brighter images but if you look at the details you can see that clearly the p40 pro plus has more details here and this is without the night mode you can see the p30 is a bit darker and cooler and the p40 pro plus is basically almost the same as with the night mode so this is now the back facing camera the main camera sensor of the p30 and as you can see here this is the ocean or sea the water that i mentioned before you can see palm trees you can see a little bit of the uh, clouds here in the sun going down as you can see here behind me there's the sun going down slowly and here's a part of the rose garden there's a part of the rose garden and uh, yeah very nice quality indeed i would say 
and this is now the recording of the p40 pro plus and as you can see here this is the wide angle camera super wide angle camera it shows by default and you see stabilization is pretty nice dynamic range is nice you can see this rose garden here and uh, this is where i was standing before and yeah pretty nice uh, quality as well pretty bright i would say and very nice quality and stabilization i'm impressed by the stabilization on the p30 it was good but here is it really really good and i think it is using some kind of 4k or 6k and then scaling down to achieve the best quality even at 1080p recording so very impressed by this uh, camera sensor uh, which is the cine camera sensor of the uh, huawei mate uh, Huawei P40 Pro yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching a beach now, probably. Uh, this is uh, the recording, by the way, uh, 1080p 60 should be, and the main camera sensor, so the 50 megapixel sensor, which the is the, the yeah, and there's the water. And this is the best uh, camera sensor on this camera. And you can see stabilization. I'm really, really going fast here down. You can see that stabilization is still holding up and should be still be good on the main camera sensor which is like uh, one of the yeah, best camera one of the biggest no the biggest camera sensor in an android smartphone uh, to date i would say and uh, yeah it is holding quite nicely together and this can also be used for filming b-roll i would say and uh, maybe even more and what i will do now is from here i want to try to zoom in you can see some things in the background on the sea already or on this little lake i think it is a lake and the ocean is behind it uh, i want to try to zoom in a little bit you know that this has 10 times optical zoom so this is something that the p30 cannot do and now we're here at 5.8 times zoom and this is 10 times zoom but this is not really using the 10 times zoom camera apparently I can go out in wide angle you can see it changes okay mystery soft I had to go down to 1080p 30 frames per second now this is uh, five times zoom roughly and now I can zoom in ten times even and even more as you can see here uh, this is exactly yeah, now it is uh, switching to 10 times zoom. As you can see, I can even, uh, even if it's a bit, little bit not steady, I can see that a person is sitting there and enjoying the view. And you can see it's very, I'm holding it in my hand, so it's very hard to hold and it's a bit uh, dark here. And uh, yeah, it's working quite nicely. 10 times zoom. Very, very impressed. This is one times and this is the ultra wide very impressed by the p40 pro plus zoom range uh, so now we arrived at the beach and i'm recording with the p30 again and yeah, as you can see it is not the biggest beach uh, it's a bit shaky because i'm walking down this hill as you can see yeah this is a little bit harder to walk and to stabilize and as you can see here, this is a little beach. It is not very big, I would say. But at least we have a beach here. Up to the zoom test, um, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Let's try to zoom here. This is a two times. I think it's pre or digital zoom. Let's try 1080p, 30 frames per second to see if there's any difference. So this is now 1080p 30 frames per second and ah, here it is working as you can see this is 3.7 times zoom let's try to zoom on the person there this is roughly 10 times zoom stabilization works pretty nice and that's the maximum zoom I think from the quality of course the P40 Pro Plus is better but this is also not so not too shabby, I would say. What do you think? 
So this is the comparison between the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and the Huawei P30. In terms of photos, we have a slight winner, the P40 Pro Plus, of course, it's a generation uh, after the P30, but still, when it comes to the main lens, you can see that they're very, very close together. And I would say the P30, even in 2020, 2021, is a still a good photo camera. But when it comes to zooming, you have the zooming king here, the P40 Pro Plus, so nothing will beat it in the next couple of years, I would say, uh, with its 10 times optical zoom. It's a bit loud here with music in the background, but I hope you can still hear me. Uh, when it comes to video mode, we have a clear winner, the P40 Pro Plus, better noise reduction, better video quality, better sharpness, better dynamic range, better stability. And you can clearly see that the P30 is one generation um, before the P40 Pro Plus when it comes to video worse noise reduction and so on, you you get the image. But in general, I think if you uh, want to compare those both, the P30 still holds up, maybe not as a flagship anymore for 2020, 2021, but still a very good video camera uh, as well. And this is flagship, uh, flagship level, so the P40 Pro Plus is the clear winner in terms of video. What do you think? Write down in the comment section and uh, otherwise like ask questions, subscribe, and that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.